we live? Yalla yalla. <sighs> How's everyone? Oh, okay, 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 okay. Do not touch the tripod. What? I'm just putting the tripod right in front of the bookshelf. Okay. How about if I put it right here? Okay. Not here either? Oh, okay. No, no. All right. How about on my bed? My bed. Okay, this is my bed. I get to put things, right? <laughs> She's just, she wants to be in control of everything. Everything. That's the Literally. Water. Okay, the tissue paper is also yours. And <laughs> can you not spit saliva to people? Thank you. Every day she's a crazy girl. She's so annoying. Oh, okay. mm -hmm. oh I love you. Mm -hmm. I love you. Oh, I love you. <laughs> yeah. I am not well organized. I want to be organized. Someone's not allowing that happening. Thank you. I wonder if um, keeping things tidy, is it learned or is it innate? And this girl, she is just so disorganized. <laughs> she is she is sometimes here, sometimes there. She is never one thing at a time. Like for some kids, they just want things to belong somewhere in order. And for some kids, they're perfectly fine with chaos. It's innate. <laughs> Maybe behavior wise, behavior probably, yeah. It's, it, you could train, but like personality, the inner core, the inside, uh, I think much of that would be what you're born with, your temperament. Right now she's um more gentle. Like I taught her not to piss me off while I'm sleeping. I think she noticed. She noticed I become like this monster when, I, when I'm like in between conscious and unconsciousness and when I don't get enough sleep. She, she probably understood. It's like I am this really old PC. I need lots of time to reboot. When she tries to force restart, I need more time. I like to be in the countryside for a while and then in the city for a while. And then the suburbs. Like in a close to nature for a while too. Most of the time I want to be out of the busy city. But like, if like, say for work, if I have to, or for, for Belle, I don't know, for whatever reason, she has to be in the city and I have to be in the city, I would really prefer the convenience. I hate the commute time. And it's important that children grow up, you know, fond of animals and the farm. I think it has to do with how we're biologically wired for that, that live in the city. Yeah, we no longer, we lose touch. So these days I've been trying hard to take her to go to the places where she could see the animals come alive. She longs for it. She's, she's always asking for it. She wants to see them. Do you know you woke me up two or three times last night? Do you remember? Yeah. You did, right? Did you come to my bed? I told you to sleep in your own bed, right? You woke up from your bed and you came to my bed and you woke me up, right? You remember that? A few times. She did. Yes, you did. Mm. Why did you do that? Did you have nightmares? Hmm? Did you see or dream of something horrible and scary? Was it scary? What happened? Why did you wake up? Or is it cold? Or some mommy scream. I scream? Mm -hmm. I did not scream last night. <laughs> I did not scream. I did not scream. Did I scream? You, you dream of me screaming in your dream? Was it in your dream? Your eyes closed and then you heard me scream? I did not scream last night. I did not. Was it me having a nightmare? <laughs> now she's making me suspicious. So was it scary? It was scary. So you came to my bed? Okay. So you're having some nightmares. Oh, I see. Can't break that. For their age right now, they just long to know reality. Like, for them, everything is reality. They cannot tell apart reality or imagination. I don't really want to give her, like, cartoons yet. It's like they cannot distinguish yet. They can't really tell. So, like, for me, I've been trying to provide her with everything that are nonfiction. And then if she ever sees sometimes that animals do talk. <laughs> animals don't talk. But if she ever sees it... That's all right. 
once in a while. If she asked me, like, um, I would still tell her, like, um, it's a story that animals don't talk and uh, it's made up. Someone wrote the story. I know it's kind of just killing it, but I think it's important at this age that they can tell it so that they they do not fear. Like, they would have, you know, it's it's kind of hard to put yourself in their perspective, but for them, the fear comes from the unknown. So it's better to know it so they could have this sense of security. She knows the dogs don't talk to her, but she talks to her dogs all the time. She talks a lot to them. Um, I've taught her how to read body language, though. Dogs do communicate. Animals do communicate. It's just different from us. So I've been trying to teach her how to approach animals, understand their body language. For dogs, you know, they wag their tails, and they come near you if they want to be touched. They don't. They they would run away if they don't want to be touched. So she kind of gets that. With the cats, I learned it the last time we went to the restaurant, the cat restaurant. When you approach a cat, you should wink, blink, blink your eyes. In the cat language, it means, I love you. Did you, did you go to the cat restaurant? Yes, you did, right? We learned about how to communicate with the cats. When you approach a cat, blink your eyes. I love you. <laughs> That's what it means in cat language. And then you squat down, lay low, hold your palm out. The cats like to be pat on the bum. <laughs> You know, I don't really live with cats, so for me, it's all new. <laughs> she mixes her language, which is like English and Chinese. I don't really mix it in front of her, but her dad does. <laughs> but I think she just does it because um, some terms, it's uh, much easier for her to express in a certain language right now. What's in here? You want to check out the tent? Let's go in. Woo! Look at that! <laughs> Oh no. What do you want? Ah! Ah! Where is she? Whoa. Hello. Ouch! I dropped my lens. Okay. Hello. What's going on? <laughs> what have you done again? Why is there saliva on the floor? Saliva. <laughs> Dip drop. It's just full of her stuff. The only thing I have in this room is my bed. <laughs> oh, you're drying my hair. Thank you. See, it's very loud. It's very loud. It's very loud. You know, playing is working for children this age. She's just doing a lot of work. <laughs> yep. She plays a lot. She does a lot of work. So what is this? <laughs> Stop bothering me. This is a doctor's tool. Thank you. Use it to check. Are you okay? Does it hurt? Mm -hmm. okay, oh, yeah, it's felt. Is it Ponya? It's a roses for Ponya? Oh, yeah. Oh, Ponya has the same one. That's right. Ponya's eating her medicine, right? Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. <laughs> That's how Ponya is being fed uh, her medication. Ah. <gasps> Thank you. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you for, for watching. watching. Please, Please support, support by, by following, following subscribing, subscribing or your, your donations. donations.